Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia. Okay. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Tyre Salam. Okay, we'll get started with the Super Eagles. And it's two days to that crucial game against Algeria in Uyo. And the Super Eagles have already arrived in Uyo for that crucial match. Just two days to go for the match against Algeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're almost there. It's almost D-Day, Cecilia. So, um, yeah, and like you said, the team arrived in Uyo uh, yesterday, you know, to have a feel of the pitch as well. To, so, you know, to intensify preparations uh, for this match against Algeria. Yeah, here's a picture of them actually landing there at the airport. They arrived in Uyo yesterday. And today at 4 p.m., they will be having a closed training session. So media uh, spectators will not be able to watch the Spragos train today in Uyo this evening at 4 p.m. And of course by 12 p.m. this afternoon they will also be talking to the media and the players will have opportunity to express themselves ahead of the game. Yeah, surely. Okay, also on the show uh, from from the Super Eagles of Nigeria, uh, we go to, okay, it, we get into that time of the year where uh, they get to, you know, recognize, you know, successes in sports. And um, it's not only the Ballon d'Or or the FIFA Player of the Year Award, the IAAF as well too will be recognizing uh, some athletes. And as it is right now, Usain Bolt and Lane Thompson, you know, have been nominated for the athletes of the year that is for the male athletes of the year and for the female athletes of the year um later this year actually yeah. it's going to be in december that's what we get to know who wins uh these awards that's where it's going to be i think usain bolt is definitely favorite for this <laughs> one mofa also yeah I mean, another athlete it's a tight one Cecilia. nominated and he have a van Nekek, talking about the south african guy who broke how many years old record in the 400 meters which is another spectacular performance. I think it's definitely going to be tight. But we'll talk about it, that. Please. Ah, we'll go to the NBA. Yeah, surely. I mean, Cecilia. Nothing. Well, not, not a lot of shocking results, uh, Cecilia. We'll start uh, with the Golden State Warriors. Uh, the Warriors, I mean, it looks like they're starting to find their feet now uh, because uh, they won their game against the Dallas Mavericks very convincingly. Uh, it was 116-95. Kevin Durant had a double-double in that particular match there, 28 points, 10 rebounds um, as the Warriors won against the Dallas Mavericks. In other games, um, you had James Harden. James Harden is on fire, Cecilia. You know, he's playing as a point guard That's this right year. Right now, yeah. And it seems to have gotten um, you know, really used to that position already. Uh, he had a triple-double as the Houston Rockets and beat the San Antonio Spurs 101-99. Uh, uh, the Chicago Bulls lost against the Atlanta Hawks 107-115, while the Knicks won the New York Derby, you know, with a 110-96 points win over the Brooklyn Nets. Um, Cecilia, New York uh, Knicks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. The Raptors, Raptors and of course, okay, yeah. the Raptors. 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 Thunder. One, one, two, one, oh, two. What again? Uh, Borussia Westbrook. I mean, he he got about thirty-six points, seven assists, and seven Not rebounds. Enough. But that wasn't enough. Not enough. for them to beat Raptors. I think that's the reason that I was actually yeah shocked because I felt we having that number of points. They could have been able to win. Yeah, but you know it is, Cecilia. It's, so, it's a team sport, so uh, sometimes you need your teammates, you know, to step yeah. up, you know, and help you, you know, get that very important victory. It wasn't meant to be for the OKC Thunder, and that's because Demar Derozan was on fire as well. So he matched um, Russell Westbrook mm -hmm. point for point. point, for point. He actually finished with 37 points in that game, and that's why the Toronto Raptors uh, won uh, that particular match. You know, very convincing for me. I uh, won 12. Uh, one or two so Cecilia. Victor Ladik was called the 18.7. Yeah, not enough. Not enough. Also. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we're still a long way to go. Yeah, though. definitely. A long way to go. I mean, the playoffs, um, that's the target for a lot of these teams. And um, the West, as always, is very stark, is very competitive. Mm -hmm. And so uh, for uh, outsiders uh, like the Lakers and um, um, you know, making our playoffs will be very difficult. I know you're very... Uh, you, a bit confidence that they can actually make they it. They can. I think they started working about I, what happened last Yeah, season. but I think it's just going to be too tight for them. So it's not going to happen. It's still a rebuilding process. We have to remember that. Uh, okay. So let's not put a lot of pressure. It can happen. Look it happen just to just just it. Okay, now we'll go back to the item where now the athletes that have been yeah. eliminated, Usain Bolt, Mo Farah, Word Van Niekerk, that the South African double 400 meters uh, Olympic champion. Then uh, Mo Farah actually won the European uh, player of uh, the athlete of the year, yeah. so it tells you that he's of uh, course he's a, a contender. contender. He is. There's no doubt about it. For the men, Cecilia, let's. I mean, Usain Bolt 
Whew, what a year, what a year is that? We remember the triple, triple. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, we can't forget those two words, you know, anytime soon, you know, defending his own titles and I won in London as well as in Beijing as well. So, surely, uh, to say I agree with you, he has to be the favorite for this particular one. But then the guys that are choosing that will choose the winner later in December, they have got other options as well. So, in Mo Farah, who's done the double double, yeah. you know, defending the 5,000 and 10,000 mm -hmm. meters, you know, titles at the Real Olympics and there's Wade Van Nickick as well. So this dude absolutely stunned everyone. If you're talking in terms of the, um, you know, the, the stunning effect, the stunning effect of the Olympics, they might want to go for Wade Van Nickick. I mean, exactly. that record that stood forever. Twenty. How long is it? 17 year record? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that record held by uh, Michael Johnson, 400 meters. I just totally shattered it. So <laughs> they might go for him as well. Yeah. To see that for the ladies. Yeah, you have uh, Almaz Ayana from Ethiopia. She was the lady who actually uh, set the record. You know, the Ethiopian. She, she broke a record as well. 23 year old record. 10,000 yeah. meters, exactly. I mean, she had to actually do that in a very spectacular fashion. After 23 mm -hmm. years, she was able to break that record. So you also have, she won the 10,000 on also a bronze medal. She won bronze in the 5,000 5, as well. Meters. Elaine Thompson, I mean, she just came in from no, <sighs> like using the word nowhere because all oh, eyes were actually on. You know, your third friend. So, so yeah, she, <laughs> she just came on and it. She hadn't had a fantastic season and she just did what Usain Bolt did. I agree. 100 and 200 meters. So, Ellen Thompson is a great contender there. And of course, you have Anita Bodevich of uh, Poland. Poland, you yeah. Know, she Polish, retained yeah. her Hammer title. So, mm, we still have a chance now. The fight is going to be between Ellen so Thompson so. and Almaz Ayano. This the, for the female category, yeah. I mean, it's a lot straightforward, a lot more straightforward than we have in the men's, uh, because, like right. I said, Elaine Thompson, Elaine Thompson, surely the 100 meters was supposed to be um, you know, the absolute legend, uh, Shelly 